prey and tempts them into all sorts of things. She'll go with anyone. God be with you, my good man. Don't play games with me. Begging your pardon, but I haven't a clue what you mean. Who sent you here? Sent us? No one but the Holy Spirit and our Christian duty. I see. Well, my Christian duty prompts me to give a bit of coin to those in need. What do you say? Are you in need? Hmm. Well, thanks for the, uh, arms. Listen, here's how it is. Some of the important citizens here don't care for Johanka talking nonsense about visitations from the Virgin Mary. And there are certain good wives who think she's up to no good. They don't like it that their husbands are hanging around here. And there's talk that she's got something with a custodian and who knows who else. And we're just here to warn decent people about the iniquities going on here. Uh-huh. Is that so? Well, now you've warned me, you can clear off. Well, I'm afraid we don't want to do that. Get the hell out of here, and leave Johanka and everyone else here in peace. Got it? Ah, we'd love to oblige, but we really don't feel like going anywhere. Sorry. Now, enough of your nonsense. Clear off, and if I catch you round here again, I'll have you clapped in the pillory. Good, sir. Surely you wouldn't pillory simple fellas like us just for wanting to earn a groschen. We'll be on our way, and you'll overlook our little intrusion, all right? Get going, and don't dare come back. Aye, aye, we're going. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Good fella. That's my boy. To me. I dealt with those troublemakers. They won't be coming back in a hurry. Thanks, Henry. I thought they'd never go. 
You didn't say anything about it to the custodian, did you? Ah, he knows nothing about it. You don't think I need the help of Sir Sebastian to deal with a few thugs, do you? Good. I wouldn't want him to think I'm in distress. Oh? Why is that? Ah, nothing. It's not important. Listen, there's some merchant staying at the Wagoner's Inn who's been asking after me. Would you go with me to see him? I know those thugs are gone and it should be safe now, but... Of course I'll go. It's only a stone's throw after all. Pavel of Colin, I believe you were asking for me? Thank you for coming, Johanka. I hope you're not offended by this meeting place. I apologize, but I feel a little confused in your presence. It's your preaching. In truth, I don't know whether I'm speaking to you or the Virgin Mary. Oh, I'm quite taken by surprise, but... It's me, Johanka, and this is Henry. What is it you wanted to see me about, Pavel? Divine Providence led me back to Sasau after many years, and by the same grace I heard the words you preached, and my eyes were opened. Just as the Blessed Virgin wanted. Are you troubled by some sin, Pavel? I've encountered many things in my life, but I never before heard a true prophetess speaking. And you're right. It came to me that it was time for me to make amends for my sin of long ago, and I decided to do some deed for the common good. You speak very eloquently, Pavel, though a bit mysteriously. I'm not sure I understand you. I notice you have an armed escort with you. Henry is my protector, helper, and good friend. Because not everyone in Sassel hears the words of the Virgin with the same piety as you. This may be yet another ray of divine providence. You see, I'm looking for someone with an adventurous but honest soul. Someone who would find some wealth that I lost and donate it all to the deserving in Sassau. Aha. Uh -huh. Henry here could be just the man you need. Is that so, Henry? You won't find a more adventurous soul in these parts. You speak boldly. That pleases me. Johanka, I'd like to thank you kindly for your visit. I don't wish to detain you any longer. If you feel we've said all that needs to be said, I'll leave you and Henry to discuss things alone. So? Johanka is an exceptional person with an important mission, wouldn't you say? Well, I'm glad people see her that way. But I just try and help her as an ordinary friend who's concerned about her. A job like any other, is it? Anyway, what is it you want help with? It's like this. In the last year of Emperor Charles's reign, I came here to Sassau to close a profitable deal. But it didn't turn out entirely as planned, and I was obliged to hide some of my money in the woods near the town. Who would even imagine that in the ruins of an old settlement lies a real treasure trove? I tried to go and recover it myself, and I can be glad that I didn't pay for that attempt with my life, as you've probably noticed. Yeah, I've just noticed a few scratches on your face. A merciless battle with a squirrel, was it? The truth is even more absurd. I simply lost my footing and tumbled downhill. No doubt another divine sign that I ought to leave the search to someone such as yourself.
No, I'm not surprised. Merchants in the wilds are rare species, unlike humans. Where is this treasure of yours, then? I could get the dog to sniff it out. I'll describe the way there. You can enter the woods between the quarry and the marshland. You can see the spot from here. There's a small stream that flows into the river. Following it upstream seems simple enough, but actually it took me a long time getting up that slope. As I already said, I tripped and rolled quite a way down, after which I considered it wiser to abandon my search. As if that weren't enough, I lost my hat there. Well, maybe it'll still be there, unless it's been devoured by some boar with good taste in clothing. Hmm, who knows? If you should find it, you're welcome to have it. As you can see, I've already got a new one. Anyway, at the point where I fell, there's a forest track that joins the stream. If you follow it closely, and you'll need to keep your eyes peeled, you'll come upon the ruins of a settlement. And in one of those ruins, the money is stashed. Right, quarry, stream, path, ruins. I should be able to remember that. And I should bring the treasure to you. Actually, I'd rather you made the donation for me. I'm in no shape for running around now. Just come back when you've found it, or not. Meanwhile, I'll give some thought to who we shall donate the money to. Agreed? Well, how could I refuse a pleasant stroll in the countryside? I'll be happy to go and look for your stash. You are indeed an adventurous soul, Henry. As I recall, I hid there not only a large amount of Groschen, but also something else. Nothing valuable, just a dagger which will be rusty by now. Please bring that to me too, as a memento. Good luck, Henry. And thank you. Can you tell me again precisely where this treasure is? In the woods by Sasau. I can't say quite precisely. It's been a long time since I hid it, and my own attempts at recovering it ended as they did. Most of the way you have to go uphill along the stream that flows into the river next to the Sasau quarry. After a while, you come upon a forest trail that joins with the stream. You're young and agile, so you shouldn't go tumbling head over heels there as I did. Maybe I could go there on horseback. It's not ideal terrain for horse riding. A donkey would be better. Anyway, from there you should follow the trail deeper into the woods. I doubt much has changed there over the years. When you reach a small ruined settlement, you're at the right place. The treasure is hidden in one of the ruined houses. I can't remember which. You'll have to search. Well, couldn't you just donate some other money? It seems peculiar, I admit. But this treasure has more than a monetary value. It's the embodiment of my guilt. As Johanka said, we are those sinners, and we must rebuild those walls. That's why it must be this money, even if it were only one groschen. When you were talking about donating the money for the common good, what did you have in mind? The Virgin Mary chose Sasau as the place to reveal her message, didn't she? You don't have to go any further than the Rathaus or the Church of St. Martin. Both places carry the same weight for me. The important thing is, I know Bailiff Hashek or Father Fabian will handle the donation better than, say, the monastery. Wouldn't you say Johanka's infirmary is working for the common good? Certainly. But its financial affairs are handled by the monastery, which has a very poor record in that respect. Then you can go and explain to Johanka and the wounded yourself that they'll suffer on just because you're worried the monastery will build more scaffolding for your money. That's not how I meant it. It's just that, as a Colleen councillor, I had a certain property dispute with the monastery. And you'd let my former Scalit's neighbours and Johanka suffer on because of some personal grudge? Do you really think the overseer would give them nothing when it's his duty? I'd rather the Rathaus or the church had the money. Uh, I suppose you're right. I'll allow a donation to the monastery. Tell me again about this treasure. I don't quite understand its history. I can't say it's something I care to repeat, but as you wish, I'll spare you any unnecessary details. It really is quite a straightforward story. Many years ago, I was engaged in long-distance trade, and my partners and I made quite a lot of money. 
I confess that our practices weren't terribly honest. Oh? How's that? Well, we sold short measures of cloth, mixed sand with salt, and gave fictitious origin to wines. We passed off local wines as Italian and diluted the good ones with water. It was inevitable that our deceitful dealings would catch up with us, or rather with me. My associates arranged a deal here in Sassau that they contrived to be the last in my life. I am by nature a cautious man, so I wasn't taken by surprise. I was quite prepared for their trap, so I let my associates get caught in their own ambush. And in case any of them should get out of it, I hid some of the money in the woods. Upon my return to Colleen, the council there accepted the remainder of the money with gratitude and absolved me of any blame. They even allowed me to buy myself a bailiff's office. Since King Wenceslas succeeded to the throne, I have lived an honest life and enjoyed a respected station. For that reason, too, I forgot about my treasure until now. But your deed caught up with you at last. Just so. He who has acted unrighteously must make amends. I'd like a beer. 